Oh, I'm not happy at all. Like, hello and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be sharing our groceries haul with you. For those of you who don't know, I'm Natalie, and along with my husband and three kids, we make up a family of five. But first, a bit of context behind our shopping haul. My youngest, Jessica, is at nursery four days a week, and then my two boys are at infant school, and they all qualify for free school dinners, so I don't have to make any pack lunches or anything like that for them. And my husband, he takes a pack lunch with him to work. We eat at home every night of the week and this shop will last us a whole week and I don't do any top-up shops in between. I just get the one shopping delivered every week. I'll let you know how much it all costs at the end of the video. We use a 50-50 fridge freezer for our fridge and frozen food so everything has to fit in there and then we just have a couple of cupboards for cupboard food. Because of this, we don't really batch cook. Occasionally there might be the odd portion left over that I'll put in the freezer but we've eaten them all this week, so there are none left. Our weeks are pretty busy with taking the kids to gymnastics, swimming lessons, taekwondo and occupational therapy. So since they have hot dinners at school, we will generally give them a sandwich and some crisps and fruit for tea through the week and then hot teas at the weekend. The kids have pudding every night, but since they got so much sweets and chocolate at Christmas, they're just working their way through that and I don't have to buy anything specifically for pudding at the moment, though I would normally only really buy ice lollies for them anyway. Right, well, here's my shopping. I'm right annoyed. Oh, I'm not happy at all. Like, the milk exploded and the yoghurt and it's the pot thing. And so he's got rid of the yoghurt, cleaned everything down, but then has put the milk back in, even though it's leaked, and said, oh, well, if you put it in somewhere else, you can have it for free. But it's covered the entire box that that shopping was in, in milk. So everything's like dripping. And I said to him, I says, I just want to send it all back. And he said, oh, well, if it can wipe down, we wouldn't take it back anyway. And so now I've got to spend however long cleaning it all. Don't know why I'm getting upset, but it's... <sighs> it was not very understanding at all when I tried to talk to him and explain the situation. Normally, getting it delivered is fine, don't have any issues, but today I'm annoyed, really annoyed. I plan what meals I'm cooking for tea each week, which helps me know what I need to buy for the shopping. This week we're having pasta bolognese, mince and potatoes, stir fry, curry, sausage and chips, bacon, pasta bake and beef casserole. And the kids have asked for macaroni cheese, so I'll make them some macaroni cheese one night. If you like these sorts of videos, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It really helps. Oh, no. Now I have got three substituted items, but they're all okay. My delivery confirmation shows that the order is 107 pounds and 97 pence. So the shopping has come from Asda, I got it delivered, the £107.97 was just for the food, that wasn't including a delivery fee because I pay £10 a month for a delivery pass so I don't get charged delivery and I can have as many deliveries as I want. I got the delivery pass because I was paying £2.50 a week for delivery anyway so it was no more expensive for me to get the delivery pass but in the school holidays, because the kids aren't getting their free school dinners, we go through a lot more food and we can't fit it all in the cupboards and the fridge and freezer for a whole week. So what I do is I'll get a shopping delivered every five days in the school holidays to make sure we have enough food. And then because I can get as many deliveries as I want, it works out pretty good having the Asda delivery pass. If you want me to show you what our 
five day shop looks like in the summer holidays when I'm feeding the kids their three meals every day, then let me know in the comments and I'll film that for you. Is £107 expensive for a family of five for a week? I don't know. It's, it's what it costs our family. So let me know, can you do it cheaper? Do you find it costs more? Well, that was not how I had planned on this video going. It was just meant to be a nice, chill grocery haul, but it's story of my life. Nothing ever goes to plan, so I guess you've got to experience that firsthand. In case you were wondering, I did get in touch with Asda Customer Services and they, in the end they did refund me for that basket of shopping that was covered in milk and yoghurt. So that was very kind of them. That was my shopping haul. Obviously I'll have to go and buy milk and yoghurt this week because of the incident, but other than that the food will last us all week. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Bye!